Hello sa mga grade 9 learners namin dyan. Nandito na tayo sa learning task number 2. Ang topic pa rin natin ay tungkol sa integral and zero exponents. So, napakahalaga na alam natin yung different laws of exponents bago kayo pumunta dito sa learning task number 2. So, learn i-apply pa rin natin yung loss of zero exponent and yung loss of negative exponent. Basta tandaan nyo, pag zero exponent, any number raised to zero, ang sagot ay 1. Pag negative naman, kunin mo yung reciprocal niya para matanggal yung negative sa ating exponent. Puto tayo ngayon sa number 1. Sa number 1 natin, we have 3 raised to negative 2 times 2 raised to negative 1. Baka maisip ninyo ipag-times natin tong 3 and 2. Ma'am, 3 times 2 is 6 and then ito i-add natin negative 3. Baka ganun ang maisip ninyo. Pero, tandaan na po pwede nyo lang gawin yun kung pareho sila ng base or pareho itong 3 and 3 or 2 or 2. Pwede nyo yung ipag-times na talaga and i-add yung exponent. Pero ito, makikita nyo naman, magkaiba sila ng base. So, hindi natin pwede ipag-times to directly hindi rin natin pwedeng i-add basta-basta yung ating exponent. Ano ngayon ang gagawin natin dito? I-apply natin yung negative exponents natin. Kukunin natin yung reciprocal muna ng 3 raised to negative 2, ang reciprocal niya. Is 1 over 3 raised to 2. Nawala yung negative exponent natin kasi ni-reciprocal natin. Ang reciprocal, di ba? Ang reciprocal, 1 divide the number. So, ito yung number natin na 3 raised to negative 2. So, kunin mo lang 1 divide by yung given na number. So, 3 raised to 2. Then, alisin na yung negative sign. Ganun din naman ang gagawin natin dito sa isa. Magiging 1 over 2 raised to 1 na siya or kahit 2 na lang. So, ito, kapag ganito na, pwede na natin ngayon mas masimplify pa siya. Yung 1 over 3 squared, pwede pa natin masimplify yan na ano? 1 over 9. Kasi, 3 squared is equal to 9, then times 1 over 2. So, i-times lang natin. So, automatic yung numerator natin is 1, and then 9 times 2, the answer is 18. Then this will be our answer for number 1, 1 over 18. Okay. For number 2, 9 raised to 0 plus 9. 9 raised to 0, again, any number raised to 0 is 1. So 1 na yan. Plus yung 9, 1 plus 9 is ilan? Napakadali lang, hindi 10. So ang sagot natin sa number 2 is 10. So, in 1 to, then plus 9, edit 10 na siya. Number 3, 4 times the quantity of 5 raised to 0 plus 2 times the quantity of 3 raised to negative 1. Yung mga may parenthesis yun muna yung unahin natin. So, copy lang muna natin yung 4. And ito, yung 5 raised to 0, 1 na lang kasi exponent is 0 plus itong 2, kopyahin pa rin natin. Pagkatapos, para matanggal ang negative exponent dito, kailangan natin i-reciprocal to. Kaya magiging 1 over 3 raised to 1. O, lagyan natin ang parenthesis para hindi kayo malito. Ayan. Okay, then, simplify pa natin. 4 times 1 is 4. And then, yung isa, 2 times 1 is 2 over 3. Yung 4 plus 2 over 3. Kinopya na lang natin kasi over 1 naman to. So, 3 times 1 is 3. And apply lang natin yung LCD. So, pagkuha ng LCD para makuha or masolve natin to. Gawin natin is cross multiply na lang natin. 4 times 3 is 12. Then, 2 times 1 is 2. Okay, then i-add natin. 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3. 
Nga pala, saan galing tong 3? So, ginawa natin dyan, may over 1 yan, ba? Dahil ito ay whole number, may over 1 yan. So, 3 times 1 is 3. Tapos, pinag-cross-multiply natin, then in yung numerator. So, 4 times 3 is 12, then 2 times 1 is 2. Then, ito nga, over 3. Then, i-add natin yung numerator, then copy the denominator. 12 plus 2 is 14 over 3. So, ayan na yung pwede natin isulat na answer natin. Punta na ba tayo sa number 4? 3 raised to negative 1 minus 2 raised to negative 3. Sulat ulit natin yung reciprocal nitong 3 raised to negative 1. So, magiging 1 over 3. Tapos, 1 na lang yan. Minus, reciprocal din ito. Kasi, may negative exponent tayo. So, reciprocal ulit. 1 over 2 raised to 3. Tandaan, pag nag-reciprocal ka na, mawawala na yung negative sign sa exponent. Pwede isulat lang natin, 1 third, tapos, minus 1 over, simplify mo yung 2 raised to 3. 2 times 2 times 2. That is 8. Third minus 1 eighth, so magiging, Paano yan? So, gawin na lang natin katulad nung kanina. So, i-multiply natin itong denominators. So, 3 times 8 is 24. Tapos, mag-cross-multiply na lang tayo. 1 times 8 is 8. Minus, minus yung operation, kaya minus din yan. 1 times 3 is 3. 8 minus 3 is 5 over 24. Final answer na ba to? Yes, hindi na natin ito masisimplify. Pero kung pa, pwede pang masimplify yung fraction nyo, why not? Simplify nyo siya. Number 5. 14, quantity 14 raised to 0, then raised to negative 10. So, pag minultiply mo itong negative 10, so, may multiply mo yan, yung exponent na to dito sa 0 niya, ang magiging sagot mo ay 0. Kaya kung 14 raised to 0, edi 1 pa rin yan. Okay, so, 1 pa rin yung sagot natin sa, uh, 1 na lang ang sagot natin sa number 5. Naman na tayo, 3 raised to 4 plus 3 raised to negative 2. 3 raised to 4, isimplify natin. 3 times 3 is 9, times 3, 27, times 3, that is 81. So, simplify mo na to agad, yung 3 raised to 4. 4, and then ito yung igawin mong reciprocal. Kunin mo yung reciprocal ng 3 raised to negative 2. Tapos yung plus natin, huwag pa rin kalimutan. So, magiging 1 over 3 squared. Nawala na yung exponent, uh, negative exponent. And then simplify mo pa siya. 81 plus 1 over and in 3 squared, 3 times 3, that is 9. Pwede pa rin naman dito. Then, pwede kang mag-cross-multiply ulit katulad ng ginawa kanina. So, may over 1 yan. So, 1 times 9 is 9. Then, 81 times 9 is 729. Plus 1. So, 1 times 1 is 1. Then, add natin. So, magiging 730 over 9. Pwede pa ba natin itong masimplify? So, hindi na natin ito may lowest term. Or, kung pwede naman, gawin mo na lang siyang mix a number. Pwedeng 81 and 1 over 9 na lang siya. Pero kung student kita, pwede na yan. Pwede na itong 730 over 9. Kasi hindi mo na ito ma-divide pa sa 9 ito. 